The smuggling of migrants is the illegal and often unseen dimension of human migration. International law defines the smuggling of migrants as the procurement in order to obtain directly or indirectly a financial or other material benefit of the illegal entry of a person into a state party of which the person is not a national or a permanent resident. This definition has two main elements. A smuggler procures or facilitates the illegal border crossing or entry of a person and the smuggler does this for some financial gain or other material benefit. The smuggling of migrants is a vast multi-billion dollar global industry due to which well-organized transnational criminal groups have emerged. With often little regard for those they are smuggling, they resort to violence, keep migrants in inhumane conditions, or expose them to extreme risks on land and at sea. The smuggling of migrants is not only a crime in itself, but is also linked to other serious criminal acts, such as terrorism, trafficking in human beings, money laundering, identity theft, and counterfeiting. The migrants themselves, however, are mostly victims of circumstance. Refugees, for example, fleeing war or persecution, often have no other choice but to use smugglers to enter other countries to seek asylum. Others use smugglers to escape poverty or natural disasters. There is a need, therefore, to understand the unique dynamics between the smuggler and the migrant. The smuggling of migrants generally falls within two models, the full package model and the pay-as-you-go model. In full package smuggling, the smuggler offers to take the migrant the entire way from their country of origin to their country of destination. This is a premium service and offers slightly more protection to migrants, but very few can afford it. The majority of migrants smuggled into other countries use the pay-as-you-go model. This model utilizes more localized smuggling networks who may be in contact with other smuggling groups, but generally operate independently in specific areas or regions. Migrants pay these groups at each stage of the route. The smuggling process can involve numerous actors such as recruiters or agents, transporters, drivers, guides and boat owners, security providers, or corruptors involved in bribing officials, and finally specialists such as money launderers, hawala hundi operators, and counterfeiters. Pakistan is a country of destination, transit, and origin for the smuggling of migrants. The largest group of irregular migrants in Pakistan are Afghan nationals, followed by Bangladeshis. These individuals, along with Pakistanis, use smugglers to reach destinations in the Middle East, Europe, and Australia. The smuggling of migrants can take place by air, land, and sea. However, the following focuses on the land and sea routes to these destinations. For the Middle East and Gulf countries, migrants are smuggled from Karachi or other points on the Pakistani coast or enter Iran and then cross the Gulf of Oman or the Strait of Hormuz. For Europe, entry is made into Iran by either the official border crossing in Daftan or other crossing points in Manbulo or near Gawadar. From there, people make their way to Zahedan or Pishin or utilize the coastal route to the port city of Chabahar. They then head to Shiraz and Tehran ultimately reaching the border with Turkey at Urmia or Maku in the northwest. From these locations, entry into Turkey is made on foot or hidden in transport vehicles. Some use forged documents for entry. The migrant's first stop is usually the cities of Van, Ari and Dubayazid. From there, they head to Istanbul or Izmir, both major hubs of smuggling into Europe. Some then go to the city of Edirne and try to cross the Evros River into Greece. Others head to the western coast of Turkey, where numerous Greek islands in the Aegean Sea are accessible from the provinces of Çanakkale, Balikesir, Izmir, Aydin, and Mula. Once in Greece, migrants can travel to the mainland or onwards to other European destinations. This is known as the West Asian and Eastern Mediterranean route to Europe. For Australia, migrants usually travel on a visa to Thailand or Malaysia and then enter the Western Indonesian region of Sumatra. From there, they travel to Eastern Indonesia to launching points in East Java and other islands. At this point, smugglers are paid to transport the migrants to landing points in Australia. The smuggling of migrants has traditionally evoked a law enforcement response, but the ability of smugglers to quickly adapt to even the slightest changes in border controls has allowed smuggling to continue. While law enforcement responses are critical, 
It is essential that a holistic approach to this crime be adopted by countries and the international community.